Hello everybody and welcome to the Dungeon and Delinquents podcast. We're still doing them. This is episode three, so you're doing it wrong if you're starting with this one. My name's Noah, I'm going to be your fabulous DM, and I'm going to let my players introduce themselves. Okay, I'll start. I'm Brian. I'm playing Burr Ryan Jr., a.k.a. BJ. Everyone knows what BJ stands for. Slurp, slurp, skeet, skeet. Big jobs. I am a druid, half-incubus human, and I like to eat sausages. And he's also definitely a submissive. All right, next. My name is Scrongus. I'm playing Olaf Olafsson of House Uwu. And I'm fun at parties. <laughs> Bitches call me the Grease Man. Get that bitch with the Uwu. Okay, next. I'm uh, I'm Riley. I'm playing Ralok. I'm a bard. And I'm a half-elf. Please, I'm dying. Help. Dead inside, but still horny. All right. Hey, <laughs> you know it's, it, Mountain Doomy. All right, it's been I mean, I mean that a couple of weeks since Doomy. we played last, so I want okay. to ask you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you with one in the back, long dick style. Ooh, That's I want to. I want to ask you guys. Do you guys remember what was going on the last time we played? We're running from our herd of frogs. Probably we weren't running. Frogs. Oh, we're just. Standing there and they're coming so, from my understanding, that it's been like three weeks since we played, but you know, whatever. Um, from my understanding, you guys had just beaten down the frogs at the campfire and you snuffed the campfire, and that was kind of where we stopped. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> With several ominous croaks and howls in the distance. That was that was my understanding. Um, so, yeah, you guys, you guys ready? No. Ready to be inserted back into the world of. Oh, I'm ready to be swamp? inserted. Ooh, are you? Oh. That's a lot of I should probably start a timer. I should probably start a timer before we get going too fast here. Start the timer. Hit Anything anybody wants to say blue. before uh, before we uh, before we start? My asshole itches. I'm a bard. I'm I am not just a barbarian. I'm a bardbarian. Did you take your cantrips? I did take my cantrips. You have a splash sheet. For... I do. Okay, cool. Guess what else I have? Fucking skull bongos. That is right. Uh, okay, so we're back in the swamp, right? It's still all mur murky and darky. There's fog all over the fucking place. It's big, dark trees, and there's lots of croaking and howling. You guys are standing around this fire, or snuffed fire. <coughs> um, let's see. Okay, read my writing, read my writing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so you guys are just around this, and there's a river right next to you, and it's kind of like at a curve, so you guys are kind of like on a bank. I think mm -hmm. I, I don't remember if I told you guys that before or not, but you guys are on this river, and there's lots of croaks and howls coming from the, the forest and like all around you, as if they're closing in. Hello, boys. The frogs or the river? The frogs... River. Well, Whoa. the river. Those frogs are good because of the river. They're putting chemicals in the water to turn the frogs gay. I'm sick of this shit. So the right. frogs. <laughs> <laughs> Olaf is like solemnly playing his bongos at this point, just like. Frogs. The croaks in the house are getting closer. Olaf does not concur with this. You sissy bitches can go do your shit. I'm gonna fuck some frog people. Because I'm fun at parties. I'm gonna go closer to the river. <laughs> I'm going okay. to the river. Uh, what do you want to do with the river? Oh. <laughs> I want to stick my dick in it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking roll to see if you succeed at this action. What the fuck? 17? Alright, as you unzip your pants and stick your dick in the river, you realize that there's a dock literally right next to you. <laughs> with a boat on it. I want to yell, hey guys, I found a boat! <laughs> Get your dick on the water! <laughs> Put your pants back up. I'm a better druid than you now! <laughs> I'm now torn between my love of boats and my love of killing frog people. 
I get in the fucking boat. You can almost smell the bully wugs. They're almost gonna, on top of you. I want to join in the boat. You can smell a lot because they literally make up the forest at this point. <laughs> I'm going to get in the boat. Rawlock has succeeded in entering the boat. <laughs> Olaf is going to start playing his bongos and very slowly back towards the boat. My back doesn't turn tor- away from the boat. Like, I've got my back facing the boat and I'm just backing up slowly, menacingly playing my bongos and screaming. <laughs> okay. I already said I was getting in the boat. Okay. You guys have all successfully gotten the boat. There's one oar in the boat. Start rowing. Okay, you start <laughs> rowing down the river, and you notice bullywugs. Definitely bullywugs, because they're very close to you, because you guys waited so fucking long. And they're all leaping into the river after you, and they can swim a lot faster than this boat. Olaf has this. So I, I pick up the oar, and I start, like, pulling us along the river as fast as I can. Should I roll? Should yeah, I roll a strength check for me. Alrighty. Um, while I'm doing this, um... Bradley, do you want to sing a song for me so I can get a, a bonus? Yeah, I want to give him a bardic inspiration. Okay, well, how does your song go? When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's some more. Okay, you get a oh my God. You get a D4 to, to roll with it if you want. Okay, cool. Wait, it's a D4, right? It's five. a D6. Oh, it's a D6. My bad. Okay, cool. So that's five plus my strength. It's going to bring us up to an eight. That's gonna bring us up to a twelve. All right. Well, that's that's still pretty moderate. You're you're a pretty strong, guys. You 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 roll pretty good. You got a good distance between you and them. So, but before you guys realize it, as you're chugging along and as you're trying to get away from these swimming bullywugs, there's there's a fork in the river and it goes left or right. And there's there's a current that goes each way. So either way, you're gonna get pulled. Which which way would you like to go? If you're not right, you're left. To the left. To the left. Everything you own in the box to the left. Let's go. Uh, let's go left. All right, I really so, thought you were about to say, let's go right. <laughs> I was very tempted to, honestly. So, so with ease, you just kind of lean into the left, and you awkwardly roll down this current, and you're kind of headed east. And more figures keep appearing behind you with the rapids. You guys pick the right direction, I can tell you that much. Never play pawn as well, rowing a boat. Are they still, right. are they still They're close still on us? you, so I need one of you guys to roll a strength check to see if you're uh, keeping uh, it up. Uh, I, was, I was actually going to do a thing. Okay, what, what was the thing? Can I do a thunder wave to try to break a little, a little like, you know, try to hurt some of them and slow them down a little bit? What's the range of your thunder wave? Thunder wave is fucking second level or to first level. Thunder wave is... Uh, so if a wave of thunders four sweeps out from you, each creature in a 15-foot cube originated from you... They're not say. that close to you yet. Okay, never Also, you'd hit us. Yes, good point. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure that's a circle, not just like an arc. I thought it was. I'm scared. Okay. So I still need one of you guys to do a strength check in order to make sure you're still... Uh... Gotta get our strong boy in here. 18. 18. You're get you you're really far ahead at this point. When the moon <laughs> <laughs> You're speeding down the rapids as you see more of these figures, but they're getting smaller. And in front of you is a small dock that's just like a couple hundred yards off from you. And there's a few crudely built huts around it. To the huts! Huts. Alright, I need you to make one more strength check to see if you stay ahead of me. That's going to be a 13. You know what? You, I think you just scraped by. I think you just scraped by. So you guys you guys dock and you guys jump out of the boat and run run up the dock and you guys are you guys are you guys are just kind of huddling down in the bushes at this point. You see all the figures kind of grow back go past you with the boat. The boat's still flowing down the current. <laughs> Very good, very good. Um, so you find you guys, you, you find yourselves around, near a wooden dock that's soaked with swamp water and sweat, as bully monks walk amongst the huts with other races. They're not hostile; they're just chilling. Mm-hmm. Shalom. I start playing my bongos. Right. I try to I try to play a happy bongo song. Okay. I'm gonna join him with the guitar. All right. You guys, you guys clearly have distinguished yourselves as a wandering band. 
Uh, <laughs> bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. Lick on these nuts and suck the dick. Demonetized. <laughs> so, it's, it's, uh, so we're just going to call this crude hut, this, this area, we're just going to call it Frog Village. So uh, this crude village is made from scavenged planks and makeshift fixtures. Small candles light up the streets. Uh, it's barely a town. It's like a village. It's uh, just a couple huts. Well, not a couple huts. Probably like 10 or 20 huts. Uh, Bullywogs croak and howl together while the streets are lined with humans, orcs, and a few small goblins. Uh, this crude village is clearly a haven in the swamp. There are two noticeable points that noticeable points that can be seen. A small hut with a window open to the outside, as well as a larger hut-like building in the middle of the village. Uh, croaks and howls are deafening as you walk the streets, and the air reeks of molding slime. Bullywogs have been seen around, shulking with spears and green hoods. I'm going to cast Comprehend Languages to see if I can understand what they're saying. I don't think you need to roll or anything for that, do you? Nope. I just have to cast it. Okay. You have casted this, and although you cannot speak to them, they're just it's just random street banter, you know. They're talking about harvests and how big someone else's egg was that they laid the other day, and... The orcs and the goblins are already speaking common, so they're just kind of regular old banter. Nothing too ominous going around, it doesn't seem. <clears throat> I think we're in the clear. These ones are a very different vibe than the ones that were in the river. Hmm, those ones are gay. <laughs> you can call it a sickness. <laughs> that was a bad joke, I'm sorry. Um, we're chilling. Chilling now. So you guys are safe in this village, it seems. I walk up to a common folk and ask them where the local bar is. Oh. Um, <laughs> he doesn't even acknowledge you. Mm, However, okay. as you're walking up to him, you notice a crude inn and a bar that just has like a like an outer like cut. Like it's the bar is literally just a shack with like, you know, a bar and there's a window into the bar. It's not like a building. Mm. To the bar. To the bar. To the bar. All right, you guys are all seated, seated at the bar, just kind of chilling. There's a bullywood behind the bar. I would like your finest beer, please. He hands you a swamp water because he Whoa! doesn't understand you. <clears throat> this tastes like shit. <laughs> 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 I step forward at the bar. And I start playing my bongos. He likes you. He likes your bongos. And he, he knows that you can... He feels like you can kind of understand him. So what he starts like croaking and howling at you. And what he says is... The past few weeks there have been a large rise in the amount of bullywugs leaving town. And then coming back with those odd green hoods. The bullywugs are normally kind-hearted and tenacious. But recently they've been primitive. I shouldn't say more. But Frogger has been oddly quiet about the whole thing. I relay this to my companions. Okay. He says those bullywogs have something going on with them. I think it's an STD. I think it's science. <laughs> Most God, science, science is spreading. <laughs> Fucking science. We need ye old CDC. Um, <laughs> I nod at him, and I bow. Okay. He accepts your gesture by staring at you blankly. <laughs> I, I don't know, like, Bullywug. <laughs> I, I don't know, like, there, there are standards of communication. It would be great if he came around the fucking bar and he started pouncing on you. Oh my god. Because you bowed. He senses your aggressive energy and his, his throat sack swells up and he looks I, at you. <laughs> I, I put my hand out towards uh, BJ and just say, hey, calm, calm down. Calm down. And I, I send my hand <laughs> forward to the Bullywug. He looks at it for a second before he extends his tongue and touches your palm with it. <laughs> I am moderately moistened. <laughs> well, he peels back really hard because, you know, grease doesn't taste very good. <laughs> yeah, this is true. I, um, I, um, mimic a drinking motion. He also hands you a swamp water. Oh, I chug that shit. It tastes awful. <laughs> Can I roll in turns to see if I puke? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> you vomit up everything you've had the past week. <laughs> Shit and all. <laughs> I feel moderately embarrassed, so I'm just gonna 
I just I, I wave goodbye at him and I go outside. Okay, that happens. You're good. Well, I mean, you're already outside, so I don't know how that would go. You leave. <laughs> okay. Walks um, to the other side of the street. <laughs> Walks out of frame. <laughs> Not the box salesman. <laughs> as soon as we learn, one of us learns fly, I just want you to cast on me so I can just T-pose down the street. <laughs> I would love that. I already um, can fly. Well, yeah, that's because... No, no, not that kind of fly. The spell fly. Yeah. So, I'm going to go to that big house. The big house? I want to yeah. wave bye to the bully book and follow him to the house. Okay, he doesn't I, acknowledge you because you didn't say anything woo-hoo. to him. I, d- I just leave. <laughs> as you as you leave, his sack gets a little smaller with every step away you take. <laughs> All right, so as you guys approach this larger building, loud howls and moans can be heard from echoing inside and from the forest around you. More mesmerizing and than the cries like in the forest itself. It's a lot of and it seems are like the ricochet of the it's moans... Hard. Is like going off all the buildings and everything. That's an orgy. There's a large makeshift door that stands in front of you, as well as a staircase leading up to it. Hmm. Staircase, go up it. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go up. As you open the door, the howls stop, and in front of you there is a large dining hall with several bullywogs dressed in finer clothing, much better than the other townsfolk. And a large chair sits above this table, and it has a green slade sitting within. A staff sits nearby, and all eyes are on you as you enter the room. A slade? A slade. I don't think Brian and Riley know what a slade is. <laughs> no. Olaf. It's, a, it's, a very gr- it's a very big green toad. Olaf probably shouldn't know what a slade is, but slades are, like, historically bad news. They can really fuck your day up. Yeah, so we're going to have to approach this ship, hopefully, with caution. But I'm going to attempt to be diplomatic about this. Well, as you enter the room, you notice no one has any weapons other than the staff sitting next to this chair. I begin playing my bongos, just very, very lightly. The bully bullywugs croak and howl amongst themselves. It just seems like, what the fuck is this shit kind of banter? I bow. Like Again, they look bow. at you blankly. I sit, on my, I sit down and I just start boggling. <laughs> Fucking crazy. The large pink slave begins speaking a language you don't understand at first, and then quickly sp- switches to common. Hello, young travelers! Perhaps you could humor us as to why you would barge into such an important meeting. We were unaware of the uh, the meeting going on here. My name is Olaf Olus- Olafson of House Uwu, and I'm fun at parties. He stares at you two. Hi, I'm Dave. <laughs> he looks at BJ with thunderous intent. I'm BJ. We're, we're not from here, and we were just looking around. He means it in that sense. <laughs> Fuck you, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> we thought it was an orgy, sir. Sorry. This re- <laughs> he 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 stares at Olaf, and he said, because clearly he's the most competent of this group. With manners. This region has been influenced by a rogue bullywug. We are attempting to find him and deal with him permanently. A few, As he says this, a few bullywugs stand up and start shouting and howling in rhythm towards the Slade. We met some of his followers. They attempted to kill us. Well, then you also would like this to stop, I'm sure. Very much. Okay. As, as you're trying to talk to him, these, these bullywugs are getting louder and louder, and he says, ENOUGH! He can no longer be on this mortal plane. Are you boys looking for work? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I begin furiously playing my bongos. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Well, I need you to go to the west side of the village. There you will find a winding path towards the swamps. Find Webda. He's a bullywug harming the minds of my flock, and you must eliminate him. What can we expect in return? You House will, Uwu does not work for free. You will get safe passage through the rest of this swamp. Can we stay the night first? No. You leave immediately, as there is much work to be done in your in your absence. Sounds good. I want to turn around, start walking out, and start strumming the guitar. Okay, that happens. That's a that's a choice. I, I, I also walk out and to his guitar I start singing Country Roads Take Me Home. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Only one left in this room is uh, Olaf. 
Olaf's going to bow deeply while still playing his bongos. And he is going to uh, he's going to turn and follow. Okay, as you following. guys are leaving, uh, Frogger, who is which you guys did not ask his name, Frogger picks up his staff and slams it down and the door shuts very quickly as you leave. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's a good trick. Oh. Cool science there. Olaf is impressed by that. <laughs> <laughs> so as you guys are headed towards the west side of the town, you feel like all the eyes of the town are on you. And as you traverse the somewhat quiet streets of the village, the other races among the streets don't even seem to notice you as the other bully bullywugs like cloak and howl at you. Uh, you end up at the west side of the village before you lies a barren dirt path into the snow of the swamp. Trees overshadow you as the light from the sun becomes barely visible. We will make camp outside of the city. It's not a city, it's a village, but okay. Yeah, whatever it is. <laughs> you guys yeah. quickly build a small little fire. And what kind of rest are you looking for? Enough to heal. <laughs> you want a long rest? Yeah. All right. You take a long old rest. It's now kind of sunsetty. Does that restore his hit points fully, or does he still need some healing? No, you guys are good. You guys can re... re long rest... I basically give you all your health back, and then uh, any spell slots you guys used up, you guys get back. Yay. I'm a generous man. Thanks, and also, dude. I don't like to get hung up on all the fucking details of everything to make it monotonous, but, you know, whatever. Well, I buried the tooth, so... <laughs> <laughs> Onward to the rest to kill this son of a bitch. All right, as you start down this path, it's clear that this path is not traveled by many. Roots are overgrown and onto the path on the path, and you can hear the chattering of animals and bullywogs as you walk deeper into the swamp. You come to a point where the path diverges, one to the left and one to the right. Both seem equally unfascinating. However, the left side appears to be much darker than the one on the right. Hmm. Hmm. How dark? No. It's pretty dark, like blotting out the sun dark, like you'd need a torch dark. Or dark vision. Now, if I were some dumb bullywug that's an ass named Webda, would I go towards this nice little looking path that still looks equally like shit? Or would I go to the one that's blotting out the sun? Olaf is going to sniff the ground and see if he can uh, find evidence of Webda's uh, goings. Okay, let's see what let's see let's see your investigation skills here. Ooh, that's, that's that's pretty fucking good. That's a 17 plus my wisdom. That's an 18. Okay, all right. Well, you notice that there are large amounts of Bullywood footprints in this area, but you distinguish one that's a little smaller f set of footprints. And it goes both on the left and the right side. But on the right side, which is the one that's illuminated by the sunlight, it's coming back up the path. I say right. Let's go right so this bitch right. can see. Yeah. Okay. As you wind down this path, the scenery appears to repeat itself, almost like you aren't going anywhere at all. The path before you is dirt. This trail is suspended over swamp, like a swamp water creek, so like, it's kind of like a ditch, kind of, you know what I mean? Um, uh, you, tree, the trees look menacing as you continue onward, but you don't seem to be getting anywhere. <laughs> I'm just saying that was water. Yeah, there's water around you. Like a, like a pond water or like a river like water? A, like a creek-esque water. Not a lot of water, but enough that you probably wouldn't be able to jump over to like another side of the dirt. Was it like flowing water? No, it's it's, it's steady. It's just, okay. it's just staying. Standing. There we go. I couldn't find the fucking word. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, just keep going, I guess. All right. It continues to loop. Let's go to the left. <laughs> go back, go down the left. What? Say that again? We're going to the left. How are you going to go to the left? We're going to go back. All right, cool. I want to go left. <laughs> as you backpedal through this path, you come... <laughs> as you backpedal, you, you, uh, you, you seem like you're getting somewhere at this point. And as you get back to where you thought the path would like restart and where you came from, there's a small hut and the end of a different dark path on your left. Small hut. What's in the hut? 
I don't know. Do you want to look at the hut? Is, it, is there a window? I want to go look no, at the hut. No, there's no windows. It's just a door. I want to go look at the hut. All right. Uh, let me figure out where I fucking wrote this. Uh, okay. Um, so I, I'm going to read you this little blip before you go up there. Uh, as you stand in the clearing with the hut, the stench of death washes over you. You see several bullywug corpses strewn about next to the hut, and some of them have their organs exposed. Uh, croaks and howls can be heard from inside the hut, almost radiating from it. This is this is as you're kind of getting closer to it. I'm not enjoying this. I want to look at the. I want to point to the corpses and look at BJ and whisper, "No." <laughs> but I'm hungry. No. BJ is looking his lips intently. I can see. No fucking the corpses. Who said I was gonna fuck? Or only fuck? I smack him in the dick. Fuck! <laughs> That's a 17. That's a 20 on strength. That is a solid boner check. <laughs> Vibe check. I am currently rock hard seeing the explosion of these intestines. You're welcome. I can now not have sex for like a week. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're around a bunch of frogs, so I'd hope you wouldn't go for sex. You don't know me. You don't know what I got. <laughs> it's druid boy. <clears throat> you don't know me. You don't know what I've got. All right, so as Rawlock is approaching the hut, it seems simple enough. It looks like a one room with somewhat of a basement. There's a straw ceiling, and there's crude bricks where uh, where it's used. Crude bricks were used to build it, uh, but the structure seems pretty sound. Mm-hmm. Should we knock on it or just barge it? Mm-hmm. Or just, or just leave. With the amount of death, let's knock. Let's knock. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Olaf, you in on this? Olaf is always in on this. Let's do this right. shit. So you guys, you guys knock on the door, but nothing happens. The croaking and the howling are still pretty strong. Olaf, you're strong. Knock on the door. <laughs> Olaf <laughs> reaches forward, grabs the door, and attempts to rip it off its hinges. <laughs> it comes <laughs> off easy because it was pretty much just planks anyway. As you rip the door off, Nothing seems to be amiss inside this room. The room has a bed, a wardrobe, and there's a small little kitchenette area, and there's a small hatch that's seen on the opposite side of the hut. I'm going to roll perception before I walk in there. It could be booby trap. Okay, let's see what you get. I got a four! <laughs> you see nothing but what I just described. I want to help him look. Ten, and then uh, proficiency, twelve. It still just seems like it's a normal room in a hut. We should knock on the hatch now. <sighs> that sounds fair. I pensively <laughs> poke it with my trident. You poke the hatch with your trident and it doesn't break, but it's 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 pretty solid. You don't hear any noises coming from it. Olaf rushes in. And as you guys enter this room and poke on this hatch, the croaking and the howling stops. Oh no, <laughs> don't trust that. Olaf rushes in. Olaf's opening that hatch and getting down to the shit dicks. Olaf is fun at parties. All right. So as you open the hatch, it's uh, you can see a ladder stretched way down the length of what you can only tell is the basement, but you can't see the end of the ladder. Climb until the end. You're going to climb the ladder to the end? C- climb down until the end. There you go. I was going to say, you would, anyway. Olaf Descend. Does, there you go. Olaf doesn't climb down. Olaf slides down using his grease powers. Alright, I was gonna say you get some sensors, but I'm gonna go. Up. Yeah, all right, so you guys are all descending down this ladder for what feels like several minutes before you find yourselves in an ancient looking crypt. The ladder brings you to the opening of this ancient structure. There's like a crack in the wall, and that's how you can see in. Um, there are a few caskets in this hallway that you guys have kind of landed upon. Some of them are open, and some of them are stacked on the sides of the room. What is in the open ones? Nothing. Oh, wow, look, nothing! Green light seems to radiate through this hallway that you guys have stumbled upon, and the hallway extends forward and then both to the left and the right. Both ah. sides radiate green energy. Ah, yes, green. The most ominous of colors. Hmm. Green. Frog. Let's follow. Olaf's ready to go. Olaf's playing his bios. Alright, you guys cautionally 
walk down this pathway and you guys get yourselves to the fork. Nothing happens, but you can still hear croaks and howling and stuff inside this crypt. Can we hear them more to the left or to the right? It's equal on both sides. Ooh. <laughs> Some people love you. <coughs> hmm. <coughs> is, is it three ways? Since it's a fork. Hmm? No, it, it's a, it's more like a T. Sorry, my bad. So you guys are T to here, go left or right. Oh. However, on both of the sides, you can tell that there's immediately another turn as soon as you guys. Let's go to the right. To the right. To the right. Okay. You, as you go to the right, it comes to another T. One to the left, one to the right. Green energy is radiating from the left more. To the left, to the left. Okay. You want to go to the left, everybody? Left. All right. As you go left, you come to another T, but the right side looks like it opens into a room, and the left side looks like it opens up into a much larger room. Where's the green coming from? Both sides. So we go to small room... Or we could go to big room. Big room. Big room, small room. Olaf rushes into the big room. All right, We're going to follow him into the big room. Big room. You, find, <laughs> you find yourselves within a large room. Coffins and corpses are scattered about. In the direct middle of this room is a large open oval. Wait. No, that's not right. That's the wrong room. I'm sorry. We know it's in the smaller room. <laughs> that is the wrong room, Noah. Okay. Uh, you find yourselves in a large open area. There's dried blood spilled all over the ground, and several bodies coat the floor, mostly bullywugs. The coffins mm. in this room are all open but one, and it shines brightly with a green illumination. This looks like a concert back in Olaf's homeland. <laughs> okay, if it's a concert back in your homeland, then what do we do with the closed coffin that's leaking green shit? I want to lick it. <laughs> <laughs> roll, a, uh, roll a check to see what happens. First, I want to sniff it. Okay, uh, it smells like swamp water. I'm gonna lick it. <laughs> just throw up again. <laughs> what would you like me to add? I mean, <laughs> I was just seeing if you know how to lick things. I don't think <laughs> you know how to lick things anyway. So, you forget which organ is your taste organ, and you, like, touch it with your hand. <laughs> and what happens? <laughs> Nothing. Alright, cool. It's safe to touch, I think. <laughs> Olaf is fun at parties. The lost had a little too much swamp water. <laughs> I've been hitting the swamp water. I'm lost in the sauce. Can I look to see if there's anybody else hiding in the room? Yeah, you can do a perception check if you'd like. 18 plus... You, you find a, uh, a, a hidden body that was hiding behind uh, one of the walls, but it just kind of collapses on the ground as you see it. Hmm, yes. Another Jump dead scare. person. Jump <laughs> 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 Is there, is there anything on the ceiling? Nope, just seems like a very crude, ancient ceiling. Olaf is going to rip the top off that coffin. Do a strength check to see what if that happens. That's going to be a 19. That is sufficient. <coughs> you open it up, but in the since you you open it up in such a way that you almost peel the coffin off the floor, like that's how hard <laughs> you opened it. Oh, no. <clears throat> but it's obvious that it's open with ease. Inside, you find a withered old woman appearing to be fairly moist, clutching a book in one hand and a green crystal pulsating with energy in the other. Hmm. Hmm. That must be science that killed her. Hmm. Olaf concurs. Hmm. I don't think there's anything wrong with this picture here. What, a moist old withered woman with yeah. a book in one hand and a green crystal in the other? Lore! Yeah. I want to read the book. Roll the dice to see... <laughs> If you remember how to read. 18. You read a lot of stuff that I've got to think of now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> inside, you find information of some sort of weird coven that used to be in these swamps. What, what, what kind of coven? Like a witch coven. There was a witch coven in these swamps, guys. Ah, uh, yes. That shit's Witches. fucked. Is there so... anything else? Could I like, turn the page to... <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if you get a paper cut. Okay. 10 plus whatever the fuck. What's whatever the fuck? I, I don't know. What am I rolling at? Uh, I guess investigation. So that'd be Intelligence. Yeah. 11. 11. So you have no bonuses there. Do you have proficiency in investigation? No. You cut your fucking finger. 
Ouch. It hurts. But Ouch. That, but it doesn't do any damage. Ouch. All right, what's on the next page? <laughs> Let's see if you flip. So you flip to the right. Let's see if you can flip to the left. Like reading the book backwards. Eleven. You can cut your other fucking figure. I don't know. Okay. But the blood <laughs> soaks the page. And now you can't read anything. You just didn't want to come up with anything else. <laughs> no, you couldn't fucking turn the page. I was going to keep going until you got a wrong one. Fine. Hmm. It was going to get more and more interesting as you went, too. Because I was thinking of stuff now, like on the spot. <laughs> Alright, so there's nothing else that seems to be in this room. Can I just press the digitation on the book? <laughs> in what regards? Clean it. <laughs> All right, you clean the new blood on it, but it's still pretty dirty. Hey. Hands Can I try over. and read it? Let's see if you know how to read. I guarantee you I don't. As I roll a 13. And that's investigation, which is plus intelligence, which is nothing. So, 13? Yeah. All right, you've turned the page. Let's see if you can read it. Okay. <laughs> Good job. You turned the page. 16. You, uh, you, you continue reading on these next two pages that the coven was oddly sexual for being swamp people. That's fucking weird. And uh, she's moist for reasons that you did not previously know. Oh! oh. <laughs> hey, BJ! It's a sex cult! Oh! I want in! <laughs> the man of house, ooh, attempt not to kick shame. We do some weird shit. But this is too weird for Olaf. <laughs> <laughs> we need to burn the body. Perhaps we should take the green glowing science thing. With 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 caution. And, and, and. Demonstrate to me how you would pick something up with caution. Touch it with the trident. Olaf screams, Oh whoa! And grabs it just very neat fistedly. <laughs> well, I mean you're covered in grease, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the crystal stops illuminating immediately as you touch it, but it doesn't harm you in any way. The green energy within the room has dissipated. Don't oh, lost that. Let's go of the crystal. The green energy again resumes in the in the area, and the and the crystal lights back up. This is some Same. weird science. <laughs> Olaf is gonna like a tie to his trident. Guys, we could start a rave with the crystal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just play fucking hot potato with it. <laughs> Whatever you guys do. Olaf's gonna try something. Okay. So Olaf's gonna take the crystal and like, uh, we're on like a rock floor, right? Yeah, it's the crude stone. Yeah. All right. I'd like to take the crystal and like scratch it against the stone and see if it leaves a mark. Um, it scratches the stone, but in a way that like a rock on a rock would scratch it. There's no real. Okay. There's no like magic or like dust or anything that comes off the crystal. Okay. So this thing is solid. Solid has about average durability for a crystal. Um, I don't know what to do. What do you guys think? Mm. Should we get rid of the body? Oh, that's kind of worried that it's potentially something something raunchy. So Olaf wants to burn it. Can we uh, can we burn something that's moist? Do you guys have anything to dry the withered hag? Not really. Well, I could just produce flame. Does anyone have prestidigitation? Yeah. That works, because you can use it to clean or soil objects. <laughs> Alright, you're going to use prestidigitation? Yeah. Alright, yeah. you use prestidigitation, and as you do, the water from within her is up above her, hovering. <laughs> but she's, you can tell she's pretty dry now. Wet wedge contest. Are we burning her, boys? Yeah, burn her. Burn her. Burn the witch at the stake. Produce flame. Alright, you light the body on fire. Nothing seems to happen, but but it's definitely, it's just a skeleton now. The water's boiling above her? <laughs> no, the water's catching the smoke. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, grease. <laughs> grease. 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 Alright, I think we've seen all we need to see in this room. I'd say we go to the other one. Are you taking the crystal with yes. you? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, big, yeah. All right, so as you guys leave the room, are you guys coming back the way you came from? Yeah. yeah. Was there another way? The, the other way was would have just been, the like, you know, the initial left and right? The left would have just been that entrance. Uh, so that, that's uh, on the opposite side of this room. That was the only other thing. Okay. 
It'll just go back the way we came. Yeah. And then go through okay. that other. So as you guys leave the room, you guys can hear a visible. <laughs> like you can hear an audible like water splash down. <laughs> like you're out of range of this spell now. Okay, so as you guys, you guys are going into the smaller room? Yeah. yeah. Okay. As you guys enter the smaller room, no light emanates from within. Several shelves of books are seen throughout the room, and there's like some sort of weird pulsating, but you can't tell what it's coming from. Uh, there's a makeshaft bed in the corner with a few jars of food, which just seem to be flies. Uh, several books are scattered on the floor, as well as a red cloak with a familiar insignia. What's that insignia look like? Um, would you like me to draw it for you? Um, I'd just like to know where I've seen it before. Why does it look familiar? Um, it seems to be the insignia on the red cloaks of the three gentlemen you fought in the beginning of our campaign. Mm. Ah, those uh, the fucks. one I was trying to warn us about the guards. Olaf does not trust this. Hmm. They're still scared of us, I bet. Yeah. They're scared of Olaf, not you. That's what I meant by us. <laughs> <laughs> Olaf is us. Us is Olaf. It's dark in the room, right? Yeah, it's pretty dark, but there's this pulsating energy that like seems to be coming from somewhere. Olaf's going to drop the crystal. Is, <laughs> As you drop the crystal, the, the room illuminates with green. You can't really, you can't at all tell where the pulsating is coming from now. Is, is there any, like, book that, like, shines more than one? Would you like to make a perception check to see? Yes. Confirm my perception. <laughs> Twenty-one. Fourteen. Okay, uh, I see that you have all rolled, so I'm just going to go with the, your highest. We're all out. As, you, as you all have split up and started to look, you got a twenty. Okay. Yeah. As you guys are looking throughout the books, you, uh, Olaf hey, and Rolak both put their hand on the same book at the same time, and they seem to <sighs> emanate. They seem to have found where the. Oh. <laughs> Where the, where the pulsating is coming from. You guys have your hands on both sides of the book, but it's still closed. The book reads, Her Powerful Reign. It reads what? Her The cover says, Her Powerful Reign. Like R-E-I-G-N. Yeah. Not rain from the sky. <laughs> Olaf pulls that shit out, hands it to Raylock, and says, I don't fucking know how to read. <laughs> I want to try and read the book. Okay, uh, uh, as you... Mm, uh, give me a strength check. Or no. Yeah, we're strict. This can go bad. I got eight. You can't seem to unseal it. It seems like it's sticky for some reason. Gravy, you got the grease. I got the grease. Roll me a strength check to see if you can open up this fucking book. Gravy got the drip. They call me Mr. Hydration. That's a ten. (laughs) Alright, that's gonna have to do. (laughs) Alright. So as you open the book, this weird substance rips off of it and flies out the other end. Like, whatever it was, it dissipated very quickly. But it, but from inside of it, a crystal falls out and it hits the ground and it starts glowing green like the other one did. This is some freaky shit. This is weird. Hey, we have two crystals now. If we have one more, each of us could have a crystal. Who wants the other crystal? I'll take the crystal. Druid boy will take the crystal. Okay. You guys now have both crystals, and there's no light in this room now. So Olaf cannot see. I'm going to cast Press the Digitation to make a small fire so he can see. Okay. He can now see. Are there sticks? I drove my bongos and things. There are no sticks. I mean, you could break a shelf if you wanted to. I'm going to break a shelf. Okay, you broke a shelf. You've produced five small sticks. I'm going to take a stick. Okay. Put the stone up against it. Okay. And... Tie it with a little piece of rope. You have made a makeshaft crystal torch. Congratulations. Yeet. It illuminates green energy. Yeah, yeet. Okay. I now have a torch for you. Thank you, my friend. Yeet. I'll now, play you a bongo torch. Olaf now has two crystals. He's basically become the Grinch. He's glowing so green. <laughs> <laughs> the Grinch. Dude, you look like Shrek. You got layers, man. How you doing? Olaf looks at BJ <laughs> and does, uh, does kind of like a slurp slurp. <laughs> <laughs> BJ thinks I'm hitting on him, but in Olaf's homeland, that's actually like a back off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I think it's 
There's nothing else. Is there? Can we look at any of the other books in this room? You can try. I want to try. You want to test my uh, uh, my my yeah my duh skills. books. I rolled a three. Uh, you forget how to read. <laughs> <laughs> can, mm. I, can I try again? Sure. Woo! I got a two. You also forget how common he's even spoke. Yo, bitch, turn the book upside down. Fuck you! Or the book is upside down. I rolled five! <laughs> you do what BJ's tells you to, but you still don't know how to read. Jesus I'll give you one more try. Come on, hard yeah, the cards, yeah. hard the cards. Eleven! Alright, you, you notice that you, you you squint your eyes really hard and you can tell that the, the name of the book is The Busty Argonian. Oh, Woo! Can I try and read it? <laughs> sure. The words on the page overwhelm you with sexual frustrations as you read. That happens to me all the time when I read. That's why I love the images of a, a large-breasted amphibian creature wave over you. And if you were Olaf right now, he would be in rage mode. Let's just say that. I'm gonna give this to BJ because I feel like this is some shit he'd be into. <laughs> all right, BJ, you now have the book, but you don't remember how to read. Because you need to make a check to see if you can read it. Or he could tell you uh, that I'm not, what he read. Uh, it's got some good shit in there. Some good sex shit about the amphibians that you like. I produced flame and burned the book. <laughs> you burned the book? <laughs> <laughs> is there anything Knowledge else is the dissipated room? from this world. And no oh, one needs shit. that knowledge. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Is there anything else in the room? Nope, just more books. Okay. Alright, let's, let's uh... Let's try to leave? Yeah, let's try to leave. What you doing over there? I don't know what you're talking about, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Alright, so you, got, you guys leave and the only... The, the only room you haven't been to is this one. As you exit, it's to your left. It's like down a long hallway to your left. You can just tell there's a bigger room. Let's go to it. Yeah. Okay. Um, you find yourselves in a large room. Ca no? Yeah. This is the one I was trying to describe earlier. Uh, you find yourselves in a large room. Coffins and corpses are scattered about. In the direct <clears throat> middle of this room, there's a large open oval suspended above the ground with a bully book hanging in the center of it, arms restrained by green light. Not the illuminating green light like you guys have, but green light. Um, uh, the green light strings him on his left and right arm, and he seems to be unconscious. The light appears to be coming from two separate mechanisms in the room. I don't trust that yet. Poke him with your stick. I go over there and I like I don't poke him with the sharp bits of the trident. I just like poke him with the butt of the trident. You can tell that he is very much unconscious. He's I unconscious. We should slap him and wake his ass up. No, let's release him. I I want to look for any other people in the room first. Okay, perception. I got a one. I got two. Oh my god. I forgot to open Eleven. my eyes. Lost my perception. So. Eleven. Okay. Eleven. Um... The only thing that you seem, as you guys are look, as as BJ is looking around the room, I'm assuming you're looking at the mechanisms. Too. I actually have a 16, so yeah. You looking at the mechanisms? Yes. Okay. As you look at the mechanisms, you can tell that there is a small, like, crystal-shaped hole in both of them. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Is there anything else in the room? No, there's nothing else of note in the room. Just the bodies and. Yeah, in the coffins. There's no living. Hu there's no living creatures other than this bullywug that's chained up. So should we let the chained bullywug out? Is 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 there uh, light so that he can see? If we... I'm just gonna go jam a crystal in the hole. All right, Olaf jams his crystal in the hole. Well, he has both, so. I really the other one. I'm like Thor in that scene in uh, Infinity War when he's like fucking. Opening up the, uh, the forge for the star. That's what we're pulling on here. All right. So as you quickly slam both the crystals into these into these areas, or these these slots, um, uh, the bullywug is the the light around his arms dissipates and he drops to the ground. His eyes are emanating some sort of green light before he starts convulsing in a seizure like motion on the ground. Green light spills Ooh. out of his eyes and his mouth, blinding you. 
and filling the room up with an unescapable white light. So you guys are all blinded right now. Mood. As your <laughs> as your eyes adjust, you can see standing above the bully look is a green hag witch, cackling menacingly. She looks out upon you before laughing and becoming invisible. That's a mood. That's that's a move. That is a technique. Is there like any dirt on the ground? Mm, there's blood. If it's, it's coagulating, I need something fresh. Well, if I think I know what you're trying to do, I mean, you could probably do what you're trying to do. Olaf stabs himself in the hand with his trident and flings like droplets of blood in front of him. Okay, it all hits the floor. But a few seconds after, you see some sort of footprint. Um, Olaf's going to try to stab at the footprint. Okay, uh, as, let's see if you hit. That's going to be a... Do you want me to add my strength for that? Uh, whatever you use for hit. Um, that would be... That would be your strength. Yeah, that's going to be a 16. Okay. So, uh... Ah, shit. One second. Did I really not write that down? That pisses me off. I really didn't write that down. Actually, you get plus five right. I swear to God, I wrote that down. You get plus five for sure. What the fuck? Oh, okay, one second. I wrote that down. Where the fuck did I write that down? When, when she disappears, I want to be like, I want to be like Hulk in Infinite or in uh, Endgame, and he goes, time travel, science. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I I can tell you right now that you definitely stabbed. Whatever was there, and there's blood radiating from the foot, but uh, but from her foot, but she appears behind you guys, blocking the exit. One second. Apparently, I did not write this down. So she is behind you, blocking your only exit out of this room. Mhm. 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 Mm we can see her now, or she's yeah, she's out of invisibility. You guys have prompted that. Who the fuck are you? She just laughs at you. It's she looks like she's getting moisture by the second. Oh. She got the moist powers. Olaf's like very enraged that he, moistness is the enemy of grease. It washes off grease. Mm -hmm. So Olaf is going to go into rage mode. He's got like a full fucking meat hammer going between his legs. His banana leaf is down. <laughs> okay. 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 You're enraged. I'm assuming you guys would like to initiate combat. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, roll initiative because you stabbed her in the foot. So she doesn't have a sneaky on her. <laughs> Nine. Six. Seven. Sixteen. Seven. Raw. Nine. And then BJ got sixteen. BJ, you get to act first. All right, I'm gonna. Fucking use a little fucking, uh, what do I want to use here? I'm gonna fucking throw my parass. Okay, let's see if you hit. Four. I can tell you right now that will not do. Cool. I, I tried. I, I tried to use Thorn Your Whip. Your Thorn Whip misses her by like a wide margin, and she still just stands there laughing at you. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I mimic her then, because I missed. <laughs> <laughs> you mock her, but it doesn't seem to sway her 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 her, uh, her smile. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess I should tell you who's next. Uh, Rawlock, it is now your turn to go. Because she's going to be going last. How far away is she? She is 35-ish feet from you. Okay. I want to use Dissonant Whispers on her. Okay. That's a wisdom save. That's why I missed. Thorn Whip only has 30 feet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was going to say you, you should have rolled with disadvantage anyway, but whatever. Uh, what's your wisdom? 13. For? 13? Okay. Uh, I am sad to say that she doesn't even acknowledge you. So, and it's a half on save. It's half on save? Okay. Yeah. Well, she got a 19, so. Woohoo! So I still get to roll damage. What's your damage? Can I borrow a d6? Oh, yeah. I'm going to put this large. Chest. So three, seven. That's five plus seven. Twelve. Twelve. So six. <laughs> six. You do six damage to the hag. She seems very upset as she rattles back and forth from the whatever. What did you whisper to her? Hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear. Tell me something. 
<laughs> Did you say it's free real estate at the ending? Yeah, it's free. Real okay, it's free. She's very upset. Did she get a? It's free real estate. Did she? Real estate. Do you have a stun or anything with that, or is that just? Huh? You don't have a stun or anything because of she. Resisted. Yeah, since she resisted, okay. there's no stun. All right, uh, Olaf, it is now your turn. Olaf is going to uh, scream some heinous shit. Um, he's going to scream, I'm Mr. Clean! <laughs> and stab with the banshee. Okay, let's see if you hit. <coughs> That's going to be a 17. Right on the money. Oh, yeah. So damage plus two. Okay, so I've got 1d6. <laughs> Quickly do the math. <laughs> <laughs> so we got three. My attack bonus is plus five, so doing pretty all right here. We're gonna hit her for ten damage. All right, you stab her right in the spleen. She seems very upset as she she looks at you. She gets very upset, and she 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 has decided that she's gonna mock you. So I need you to do a wisdom save or a charisma save. It's gonna be a six. I do not think that's going to work. You are going to take... You take three damage from her. And you're also stunned. Olaf is not happy. How does she mock him? Viciously. What does she say, though? <laughs> <laughs> Your grease is not the only thing that keeps people moist around here. <laughs> <laughs> Olaf has a rage boner now. BJ, it is now your turn. I'm gonna move up this time and try to do a thorn whip. How long, how far do you move up? Like ten feet. Okay. That was about to be an eighteen. It's a two. That's not gonna do anything. And no, you you missed by a wide margin yet again. Rawlock, what would you like to do? Hey. She's not the only person that can mock. I want to use Vicious Mockery. Okay. Let's see if she resists you. One second. What is your save? 13. Ooh, just barely. Damn. She, does, she resists your mocking. And she laughs in your face. Olaf, you're stunned. You have dis... Oh, okay. Well, that's a one, ladies and gentlemen, so it doesn't matter if he's got disadvantage. You try to stab the witch, but instead stab your own foot. You're going to take just one damage. Yay. All right, so she sees the thundering idiots that you all just missed. She laughs at you again as she, she walks forward towards my, my good friend Olaf here. And she's going to attempt to claw you. Um, I believe that's a hit. No, it is not. She just barely misses you as if the grease itself kind of formed off of you and slapped her hand away. Some sort of magical grease, if you will. <laughs> but she's closer to our good friend Olaf now. Brian, it is now your turn. Produce flame. That's a 15. Do you have any bonuses on that? What bonus would it be? It would be wisdom. Wisdom, I have. Wisdom. Plus three. Yes, you have hit her. Eight. All your damage. What did I do? One D8. That's not an eight. Eight. Eight? Eight? You deal eight damage to the poor witch. She doesn't seem happy about it. Wait, that's... Yeah, that's it. Okay. All right, Rawlock. What would you like to do? I want to whisper again. A vicious mock? No, dissonant whispers. Oh, dissonant whispers. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Class off on Columbus Day. Ooh. Dope. Uh, you hit. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna borrow this. Oh, okay, that's a bit gay. So, that's that's a number. For, that's for sure. So that's 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 uh, that's a nine. So then plus five is fourteen. And then, so yeah, fourteen damage. Fourteen damage. And she's also afraid. 
And she's also afraid of just you, right? Yeah, so she has to, like, okay, run and get there, out. She's, she's, she's backed up enough to where she's in the entrance of the room. Okay. Okay. All right. Olaf, she's ten feet from you now, but it's your turn. Olaf is going to attempt to throw his trident at her. Okay. You will have advantage because she's a little frightened right now. Roll again. Okay. <laughs> I whispered. Except your first roll a little better. Hmm? Yeah, so that I five, um, that that's going to be a ten. That's ten. Okay. Uh, that will not hit. Yeah, the trident lodges right underneath your foot, though. Aw, oh, damn. Well, you threw it. What did you expect? You were going to lose your trident. Yeah. So it's right underneath her, and it's her turn. Just and attach it with a rope. She's going to viciously mock you yet again. I'm going to need you to do a charisma save. That's going to be a 19. Oh, you resist the shit out of her. All right. How does she attempt to mock me? <laughs> Swamp water's inside your belly! Mm. I don't fucking know. I was trying to go for a rhyme, but that's... <laughs> I puked! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. BJ, it is now your turn yet again. She's 10 feet further from you now. Just so you know. So that's what? You just have to move up. But she's 35 feet away from you again. She's in the entrance now. Of the room. Alright, well I'm going to actually just pull out my demonic wings and move up 15 feet. Okay, but it takes an action to pull out your wings. It would also just take one action to move forward 15 feet. (laughs) Unless you would like to be suspended in air. That's what I was doing. Okay, you're suspended in air. You're hovering. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. That's it? Yeah, I'm, 15, I'm up 15 feet. Okay. And I pulled out my wings, and I'm yeah. flying, and I'm up 15 feet. That's my turn. Okay. <laughs> just making sure. Rock, it's your turn. <laughs> Sorry, I was just like, that's all you want to do? I want to viciously mock. All right. 13, right? Yes. Ah, that's a 10. She does not resist you. Ooh. She's going to be stunned. Uh, three plus five is eight. This bitch can't even rhyme! <laughs> she gets very frustrated because she did indeed rhyme. The words you said of are rattling around her brain. She's unhappy and stunned. <laughs> Olaf, it's now your turn. She's Olaf is... Ten feet away from you. Olaf is going to scramble forward and grab his trident. All right. And try to stick it in her bum. Okay, let's see if you hit. You're going to have advantage. That's going to be a... You can re-roll that if you... I mean, you can still accept that roll, but you can roll twice. Okay. Yeah, so first roll, that's going to be a 17. Okay, that hits. All right, dope. Um, hit it with that 1d6 piercing damage. That's going to be a 6 plus 2. That's going to be an 8. Okay. 8 more damage is dealt to the bitch. And you can tell she's getting a little withered. Just like Mom used to make. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she can't go this turn because she's stunned. BJ. In the air, I'm going to try using Thorn Whip. Okay, let's see. You, I think you would have disadvantage. No, because you'd have disadvantage on deck saves. Okay, go ahead. Well, I rolled a two, so that's not going to do shit. All right, you you, you you seem to not be in tune with nature today as you I whip at her not. feet. Rawlock. I want to try to mock again. All right, let me see what she does. Uh, I She resists you this time. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Olaf, it's now your ooh, turn. Ooh. I'm going to stick my trident in her bum again. That's a one. That's you forget which ass is which, and you stab yourself instead. We're good at combat, guys. You take one more damage. Eighteen. All right. Try the poke on the train just goes. She again is embarrassed oh. that you guys are all idiots and haven't defeated her yet. So she's gonna viciously mock Rawlock this time. Rawlock, what? I don't I make a Christmas save. Yes, you do. I was like, why am I rolling? I immediately rolled. Twenty. Oh my fucking god! You mock her right back. <laughs> Nothing happens. She just stands there weirded out while she tries to insult your mother. She just insults me. I just go, <laughs> I don't have a mother. <laughs> that was what I was going to go with. <laughs> I don't have a mother. I just spawned into the mortal plane. <laughs> BJ, you're still in air. Flying above. I'm going to try to produce flame matter this time. You're going to throw the ball of fire? I'm going to throw a ball of fire. Okay. Balls? What the fuck? <laughs> BJ apparently needs to get some weighted dice as he misses yet again. <laughs> Rawlock. I want to try to mock him. <laughs> All right, let me see what we do here. Uh, yeah, that's a no. Okay. 
No, I mean like. Oh, just, oh, you're okay. Good. Go ahead. Okay. Sorry. That's uh, gonna be a seven. Seven. This bitch can't even mock right. All right, she's getting very anxious. She's stunned yet again. Olaf, you peel the trident out of your ass, I'm sure, before you cue your next move. Olaf is very disappointed in himself and is feeling kind of ashamed, but he's going to try one last time, and he's going to scream his mighty war cry. All right, let's let's hear it. Ooh! ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Do I still have advantage? Yeah, you have advantage. All right, cool. She's still that's gonna be a that's gonna be a fifteen. It doesn't quite. Wait, are you raged? Yeah. Okay. Don't I've... you get more bonuses for that? No, it's only for damage. Ah, I thought you got yeah. damages to hit. Yeah. Nope. But... Still don't hit him. Fifteen doesn't hit. Mm mm. Damn. Her natural armor is seventeen. Damn. That's tough. Unfortunately, yes. But she's stunned. So BJ, you're still in air, but your wings are getting a little tired. Mm hmm. Because you know, you've, been in, you've been in the air for three turns now. No, no. How far away is she? She's. You've moved up. She's. 25 feet from you. I'm gonna go up 50. Like, this way, not from, like, the angle of your your, your height, because you're, right. you're 15 yeah, yeah, feet yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go hover right above her. Okay, you're gonna use your whole move to get to her? I'm gonna use my whole move to get to her. Alright, your wings are getting pretty fucking tired, like they're almost about to give out. Rawlock, it's your turn. I'm gonna mock. <laughs> this is just a constant mockery battle. <laughs> 18! She resists your ass this time. Can I also use a bonus uh, to give a bardic inspiration? Yes, you can, because it's a bonus action. Okay, I want to yell to Olaf. Olaf! Hit that bitch with the oo woo <laughs> Olaf, it's now your turn. <laughs> As you dab viciously. <laughs> Olaf is going to yeah. serve... Olaf is just, like, fucking pissed that this hasn't been working. He hates Banshee, so he's going to scream... An even more dangerous war cry. You okay. guys are about to see, like, real Olaf hours. Oh, mo! <laughs> you have... There's not advantage this time. You okay. also have an inspiration, though. All right, we're at seven. All right, that's going to bring us up. So, ten for my strength bonus. Um, that's going to be fifteen again, so... Nope. Well, Ooh. 17. Miss her again. Wait, no, if it's 17, then yeah, you do Proficiency hit. bonus, so mm -hmm. yeah. Yep, 17, you hit. All right, dope. <sighs> that's going to be um, a... S that's going to be a nine, because raging. Nine. Okay. She's 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 very, very close to death. She She's suffered one too many trident wounds. She's getting very upset. Wait, I gotta do math here one second. Uh, okay, I've done my math. Um, she doesn't. Re she doesn't know why BJ is suspended in the air, but she's gonna try to mock him. So give me a charisma save. Oh, you, my friend, are going to be fuck dice. You take one damage, and she stuns you as you fall out of the sky on your ass. That bitch ruined what I was gonna fucking do. So, in. BJ has used his turn to fall on his ass. Rawlock, it's your turn. You guys are all really demoralized. <laughs> <laughs> I had a really cool thing that I was going to do. Yeah, I know. That's why she targeted you, because she knew what you were about to do. No, she didn't. She's dumb. I'm assuming you were going to jab something in her fucking head as you descended. No. <laughs> that wasn't very convincing. No. <laughs> Rawlock, what would you like to do? How far away is she? Uh, Brian is on his ass in front of her, but to you, she's 30-ish feet. Okay, I want to move up and just spend my entire turn moving up. Okay, you're right on her ass. Okay. Right next to Olaf, and Brian's like two-ish feet in front of you. Okay. Olaf, what would you like to do? Olaf's going to do it one more time. He's done raging now because he can only rage uh, twice per long rest, and it only lasts two turns, but... We're going to roll a two is what we're going to do. You guys clearly don't know how to stab things as she laughs at you. You went a little too... You thought the right hand of the trident was the one you were like you were holding. So like these two prongs that you thought were going to hit her don't. You totally miss. Ooh. <laughs> Olaf is very insecure about himself now. <laughs> <laughs> the hag looks at you, Olaf, and she swipes at you. Hold on one second. My book cut my dice. And she gets a 20. Um, <laughs> so this is gonna really hurt. 
Oh, well. Oh, no. Where the fuck is my other... Where the fuck is my other... Oh, there it is. Oh, shit. All right, well, you take uh, 12 damage from her, from her claws. They rip through your grease pretty hard. Oh, shit. Guys, Olaf is down to six. All right. BJ, you are no longer stunned, but you are right in front of her. Right, I'm trying to think of something cool I could do. Mm-hmm. So, is she like a, like, a, like a solid witch, or is she like a ghost? She's like a solid witch. Okay. Do you think she was a ghost? I don't know. <laughs> I described her as a, a witch. I didn't describe her as a ghost witch. I don't know. <laughs> it's weird for you to be asking questions about her appearance 18 turns into the fucking combat. <laughs> you leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. I'm gonna stand up, brush off my shoulders, and fucking poison spray her. Ha <laughs> ha! I still miss, because that's only a 10. <laughs> I was going to say she's immune to poison anyway, so that wouldn't have worked. She laughs at you as you spill green ooze into her face. <laughs> we suck. <laughs> that was Brian's head, everybody who's listening. Rollock, what would you like to do? I want to try and hit her with my longsword. Okay, let's see if you hit. 11, no. You swing at her, but she just kind of dips under it. Olaf, what would you like to do? One more. Do you want me to re-roll re -roll that? that. Alrighty, cool. <laughs> Not gonna work. She viciously mocks BJ yet again. Uh, do a Christmas save for me, my friend. <laughs> 17. <laughs> okay, you, you pass. You pass with flying colors. It's your turn yet again. <laughs> There's flame. Awkward silence as it counts. 17. That hits. Let's see how much damage you deal. You're going to put this right in her face, by the way. 10. You burn her face so fucking hard. She's dizzy, but she's still standing. But you can tell she's on her last legs. Rollock, I'm going to try to hit her with the sword again. Okay. This is cancer. No, three. Three. <laughs> you forget what you're trying to trying to hit. You I just look at my sword and go... Huh. The, as you're swinging your sword, there's a weird glare that comes off of it and hits you in the eyes, and you kind of have a panic attack. Olaf, what would you like to do? God damn it! I've been rolling like trash. We all have! <laughs> this is the worst round of combat I've ever been in. She viciously in. mocks Rawlock. Rawlock, I would like you to do a charisma save. Oh. 11 plus charisma's proficiency. That's going to be a um, 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 14. Okay, you pass. You do not, Nothing happens. But she she tries to mock you, but as she does, she's, la she's laughing and she coughs up a little bit of blood. BJ, what would you like to do? Produce flame again. All right. Oh. <laughs> you miss yet again. Rawlock, what would you like to do? I want to try to mock. All right. Uh, okay, 13? Yes. Uh, you hit. Ayo. One plus five is six. If you're gonna mock me, do it right. Come on. <laughs> she looks at you, and as as she looks at you, she blood just starts oozing out of her mouth as she falls to the ground. She has perished. That's some barred shit. You guys <laughs> took twenty one turns to kill a simple witch. <laughs> I mean, she had a lot of health, and you guys were doing good at the beginning, but god damn. Hey, come on, we're kind of stupid here. Okay. How many times did we actually hit them? <laughs> like, once every three turns. <laughs> that was bad. All right. That was really Time bad. This you again. stagger yourselves from this fight, clutching your wounds. Whatever she was, she was much stronger than you anticipated. <laughs> As she falls to the ground, her physical appearance begins to melt away and evaporate into the room. The bullywug fall is still on the ground unconscious, and he looks like he's still breathing, but he's 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 still there. He sports a small pair of shorts, and he has a book dangling from his side. Before we go on, could you prestigitate that from out of our fucking minds? <laughs> That's it. No. 
Well, I think this is a great place to stop because it's been about an hour, and I'm sure the listeners are probably tired of you guys not hitting anything. Yeah. So, sorry, well, I am. <laughs> Why don't we sorry. stop here? Uh, we will continue in the next podcast, so be sure to come back and listen to them not hit anything for another Hello. hour again. Yay. Anyone have any closing thoughts? No, I want to get fucked in my ass. Hello. I was fucked in the ass. What the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> I want to fuck a dog in the ass. All right, next see time next we'll one. see what this, this, this bully wolf is about. Hello. Goodbye. Hit that bitch with the ooh-woo.